from the CBS Broadcast Center in New York. We've got a way of looking at life that's really great. A certain way of feeling life is fine. Put it all together. Come on and see what's really here. The world's a place, a place to love and laugh. We're on our own. Got it all together. Take a look and see. We've got a way. We found a way. We're on our own. <laughs> Hi, April. Good morning, Maria. Maria? I was up all night. I think I've got the solution to the dandruff commercial. Oh, great. OK. Now, we start with two little pieces of dandruff standing on a giant scalp. <laughs> they know they only have a few more minutes to live because of that miracle dandruff shampoo, Flake Off. And then they sing and dance. Right side, left side, all around the head. Little flakes of dandruff are preparing to be dead. Here comes flake off. It drives us all insane. Just when we find a new place to live, we all go down the drain. I think somebody dropped you when you were a baby. <laughs> hey, Eddie. Listen, when do... Eddie? Huh? Uh, when do we shoot the Flake Off commercial? What? Flake Off. When do we shoot it, huh? Thursday. Yeah, that's next Thursday. Hey! Hey, what's the matter, huh? Nothing. Nothing. Come on, Eddie. What's wrong with you? <sighs> if humiliation were a disease, I'd be the poster boy. I, I, I'm almost afraid to tell you. Afraid? Eddie, we're your friends. Well, my old college roommate and his wife are coming into town today, and, and I told them a lie. Oh, well, Eddie, we all tell little lies once in a while. This one's a beaut. I told John and Karen that I was engaged and living with this girl. That's not so bad. And her name is April Baxter. <laughs> oh, that's bad. Yeah. And tonight, John and his wife are coming to dinner to meet her. Now, what am I going to tell them? Well, Eddie, unless you can talk April into being your fiancé for the night, I think you got to tell them the truth. And I think you'd have more luck talking John Wayne into shaving his legs. <laughs> so you don't think she'll play along? What do you think? I think I'm going to drown myself. Can I drive you to the pier? April? Good morning. Uh, April? What? C can, can I ask you a favor? Certainly. The answer is no. Ah, uh, April, it's really nothing. I want you to come to my apartment and have dinner with me and two of my friends. All you have to do is make believe we're living together. <laughs> I told them we're engaged. Eddie, I'm going to call your mother. <laughs> April, please, you've got to understand about John and me. We were always very competitive, and he always won everything, including the most beautiful girls. That's why I told him about you, April. You're more beautiful than all his women put together. I'm sure you're right. <laughs> oh, come on, April, give the guy a break. Eddie. Even if I wanted to help you, which I don't, I've already made plans to see Nureyev dance tonight. I didn't know the ballet was in town. It isn't. He's making a house call. Hey, listen, you guys are really great to come up here tonight to help me out. No problem. Gives me a chance to try out my new hors d'oeuvres. What is it? 
It's a recipe I got out of popular mechanics. Oh, Maria, <laughs> come on. Okay, now, Eddie, remember, the faster you tell the truth, the less it'll hurt. And don't worry, pal, we're right behind you. Right. Edward <laughs> Allen Barnes, you son of a gun. Hey, John, you look great. <laughs> Doesn't he? He hasn't changed one bit since college. Thanks, son. <laughs> Neither of you. Oh. <laughs> and Eddie, look at you. I almost didn't recognize you. No more crew cut. <laughs> oh, well, you know, Karen, big job, big hair. <laughs> hey, Eddie. Is this the way all advertising vice presidents live? Vice president? Uh, say, I'd like you to meet a couple of the girls who work in the office with me. This is Julia Peters and Maria Benino, John and Karen Nichols. Oh, sure, Julia and Maria. Eddie's secretaries. He wrote me all about you. What? Oh, yes, hello. Mr. Barnes has told us so much about you. Oh. I'll bet Eddie is nice to work for. Oh, yes. <laughs> And we learn something new about him every day. Here, let me take your coat. Gee, I hope this doesn't scare my moose. Oh. <laughs> Eddie, this is really an unusual place you got here. Yeah. Who's your decorator, Captain Kangaroo? Oh. <laughs> Why, it's April. The exact same picture you sent to us. Where is she? To tell you the truth, she's in Istanbul. Um, excuse me, Mr. Uh, Barnes. Ms. Peters and Miss Bonina, would you get some drinks for my friends, please? Istanbul? What's she doing in Istanbul? Well, uh, she went to make a commercial, a bathing suit commercial for bathing suits. Well, I didn't know the Istanbulians swam. Oh, yeah. They swim all over the place. I'm so disappointed. I was looking forward to meeting her. Excuse me, Mr. Barnes, could we have a conference about drinks and a few other things? Sit down, guys. I'll be right back. Okay, girls, what is it now? Okay, Eddie, I thought you were going to tell him the truth. I am, but I have my own way of doing it. Yeah, it's called lying. <laughs> Who's that? Oh, well, don't anybody move. I'll get it. Fine, I'll help Miss Peters with the drinks. April, what are you doing here? Don't you remember? I live here. April. April? Oh, what is everybody so surprised about? Don't you remember? She lives here. <laughs> Isn't anybody going to welcome me home? April? Hello, Edward. How are you, darling? Eddie was just telling everybody about how you were on your way to Istanbul to shoot that bathing suit commercial, but I guess your flight got canceled, didn't it? Oh, yes. <laughs> well, that's what I get for flying something called Air Turkey. <laughs> A drink. Uh, me too. Dear, where are your manners? Aren't you going to introduce me to your friends? Well, this is uh, John and Karen Nichols. Oh, here she is. Hello. It's nice to meet you. We've heard a lot about you. Who hasn't? And we just love your place. It's so you. Eddie, would you mind getting me a drink? Oh, sure, April. Uh, what would you like? The usual. <laughs> okay. One usual on the rocks. <laughs> okay. A toast to our old friend Eddie and our new friend April. May you two be as happy as we are. <laughs> when you're married. Oh. <laughs> so, have you set the big date yet? Big date. <laughs> For the wedding. Oh, the big date. Oh, 
Let's see. Uh, Mr. Barnes, I seem to recall you were saying something about June or July. No, no, it was around the 4th of July because you said you wanted to see fireworks on your wedding night. No! <laughs> get started on that report you asked us to type, so I guess we'll be going. Right. Listen, thank you for having us, Mr. Barnes and Miss Baxter. <laughs> we'll see you in the office tomorrow. I hope we see you again sometime, if Eddie decides to invite the office staff to the wedding. <laughs> I'm saving up for my dress. <laughs> Bye. Bye-bye. Well, listen, Eddie, old pal, it's getting late. We really ought to be going. Besides, I'm sure you two lovebirds want to be alone. No. <laughs> hey, and don't forget, if you're ever in Cincinnati, be sure to look us up. You bet. Cincinnati is my kind of town. <laughs> what? Bye-bye. Uh, John, come on. It was lots of fun. Yeah, bye. It is people like that who give Ohio a bad name. <laughs> Where's my coat? April, you were really wonderful tonight. I know. It was really great of you to show up. Yes, I know. Why did you do it? Why did you come here tonight? What are friends for? You mean it? We're friends? We'll work on it. <laughs> Good night. You're a sweet boy. She kissed me. I can't believe she kissed me. My darling April wants to be my friend. She left her purse. Hey, April. Oh, well. I'll give it to her tomorrow. Or maybe never. Oh. Oh. A gift for my two lovely friends who helped make last night the most wonderful night of my life. Oh, Eddie, thanks. Okay, now ask the obvious question. Why was last night the most wonderful night of my life? Okay, why was last night the most wonderful night of your life? Because she's crazy about me, and I'm crazy about her, and we're crazy about each other. <laughs> okay, I'll bite. Who's the other lunatic? <laughs> Ordinarily, that joke would bother me, but not today. April and I are in love. Eddie, it's time for your nap. No, no, it's true. Last night when April left, she told me I was sweet. And she kissed me. But she forgot her purse and had to come back for it. But instead of just getting it and leaving, we started talking. And before we knew it, we finished another bottle of wine, and then one thing led to another. And yeah? Then she kissed me. And I kissed her a lot. Now, Edward, a lot of kissing does not a love affair make. I know, Julia, but a man can usually tell these things. What can we men tell, Eddie? Mm -hmm. well, we were just talking about me and April. Well, that shouldn't take very long. <laughs> Why doesn't anyone believe me? I'm telling you, April and I had a real thing going last night. She clung to me like saran wrap on an open can of tuna. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Hi, April. Hello, smoochy face. Smoochy face? I missed you. And I missed you too, crazy lips. Crazy lips? Eddie, 
When I run my fingers through your hair, I get goosebumps the size of golf balls. You too? Yes. And when our bodies are pressed together, our heartbeats melt into one. Boom, ba boom. Boom, ba ba boom, ba ba boom. Zip. I know this may seem strange to all of you. Strange? It's incredible. I have resisted his advances for many months because I was afraid of letting myself go. But ours is a grand passion. Sheepers. A grand passion in the tradition of Romeo and Juliet, Abelard and Eloise, Tristan and Isolde, Steve and Edie. <laughs> Edward, darling, is there anything else I can get you? No, thank you, April. But I want to do things for you. <laughs> All right, if you must. Uh, take my stuff to the laundry and have my shirts back by Thursday. And remember, no starch, or I won't let you scratch my back. <laughs> thank you, my love. You know, Edward, this may sound crazy, but these last two weeks have been absolute heaven. <laughs> April, please, don't interrupt me. I'm reading an in-depth interview with Sonny Bono. <laughs> okay. Do you like children? <laughs> Whose? Ours. Ours? Yes. I love big families. My ambition is to go one better than Mrs. Osmond. <laughs> Slow down, April. We're not even married. Who's that? How should I know? I haven't answered the phone yet. Don't you play games with me. Who is she? <laughs> who is who? Hel Hello? Hel Hel they hung up. What do you mean, they hung up? You mean she hung up? <laughs> well, I've had it. April, I must tell you that your insane jealousy and possessiveness are beginning to make me nervous. I think I'll say good night. Very well. But I will not be treated like this. Not even by you. You are just going to have to make up your mind. You have until tomorrow morning. Very well, April. Good night, sweet prince. <laughs> Girls, you gotta help me. You gotta help me. What's the matter? It's April. She's driving me crazy. Shh. She's coming. Pretend I'm not here. Okay. <laughs> Good morning, Julia. Good morning, April. Good morning, Maria. Morning, April. Good morning, Edward. Good morning, April. Edward, what's your answer? Answer? Oh, you want to know about dinner tonight? I'd like mashed potatoes instead of French fries. Edward, I am not here to discuss mashed potatoes. <laughs> I am here to discuss my life. What is your answer? I forgot the question. <laughs> Will you marry me or won't you? I think I need more time to think. <laughs> Edward, when a man thinks he needs more time to think, a woman knows the answer. 
And now, the once gorgeous April Baxter knows what she must do. <laughs> Eddie, April wanted to marry you and you turned her down? That's right. <laughs> He's a pig. Girls, go ahead. Shout pig at him. Pig, 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 pig. pig. I'm going to jump just as soon as the crowd gets big enough. <laughs> April, April, wait! I gotta go get Tony. She's never seen a jump before. No need to worry. What seems to be the problem? It's April. Look. April, what a lovely dress. Ooh, really nice. Thank you very much. And now, if you will excuse me, I have to step out for a second. April, if you jump, you can start looking for another job. Oh, help! Please, help. Somebody help! Please, somebody help! 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 I'm help. coming! The fearless Craig Boatwright is here. I'm going to race to assist you, leap up on the window, and rescue you. If you come one step closer, I will take you with me. Sorry I mentioned it. <laughs> no! April! Wait! Don't jump! Please, don't jump! I am. I'm going to kill myself. And with any luck, I will also break my glasses. Eddie, where are you? Open the door. You must have been dreaming. Eddie, oh, let me in. Coming. I took off my purse. Yeah, coming. Here, April. Thank you. April, after you left, I fell asleep and I... I had a dream. Did you ever have a dream it came true? Yes. Once, when I was a little girl, I dreamt that I would grow up to be irresistible. Well, as long as you came back for your purse, how'd you like to come in for a little nightcap so we could... Get to know each other a little better and discuss our dreams. You know what I mean? Yes, I do. But I'd rather jump out a window. recorded before a live audience. 